What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexi and welcome back today to Crazy Craft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we have a very exciting episode planned. But quickly, before we do that, check this out. So loads and loads of people were telling me in the comments, James, what are you doing? If you want your floor to look awesome in your secret, equi secret equivalent exchange area, why don't you use air blocks? Look how cool this looks. Oh my days. So thank you so, so much for all your advice. Um, I've just been in the comment section of the last video. Oh my days. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But yeah, this looks awesome. It properly looks like these are sort of suspended above nothing. And uh, yeah, of course, if we jump, oh, it's just the floor. <laughs> it's all it's all an illusion, lads. But um, yeah, it looks really, really cool. So thank you so, so much for this suggestion. I really love it. I think it's amazing. But anyway, whilst we make our way out, let's talk about last episode. So I'm not going to ruin it in case you haven't seen it yet, but it was super, super fun. Some crazy things happened. There's an owl inside my storage. What, what are you doing in here? <laughs> oh... You're so sweet. So yeah, it's looking very owly around here. I'm not gonna lie. We've got some very special owls. This one is our cool one. This is Hoot. Um, can we feed you potatoes? No. <laughs> You're gonna hold a potato. Uh, we need some meat in order to actually heal this guy back up. I don't think he heals himself, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, basically, we did some amazing witchery stuff, which may or may not have gone quite to plan. But why does it keep giving me the sheep pet? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not clicking anything. Stop putting the sh- I have, I have no idea. Ooh, let's come confirm something. A toaster? <laughs> oh, yes. Toaster confirmed. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, I've just been on the previous video to check out your comments, but I'm going to have to mention this because this is absolutely insane. In that video, I was like, you know, we actually achieved 6,000 likes in a previous video, and that was amazing. Can we try and get 5,000? Do you want to know how many likes you guys got? 10,000. Oh my goodness. I, I just had to mention it. That is absolutely incredible. And that means so, so much to me in support of this series that you guys love it and you're digging what we're doing here. So thank you so much for 10,000 likes. I don't think I've ever done that on like a Let's Play video. That is insane. Thank you so, so much. I don't know if we're going to get 10,000 likes again. I, I think that was just a special video. But if we could try and get 6,000, that would be amazing. So thank you so much for your continued support. But anyway, right. So today's episode, we're basically going to be starting a project for our community zoo. Now, I actually asked in last episode, which is why I was in the comments section, if you had any ideas of stuff that we wanted to build, and I've been reading through it, and I think I've got the perfect balance so everyone is going to be happy. So, in that video, right, you may see I've actually started on something, but in that video, I basically said, well, should we do something spooky and something witchy because we're kind of doing the whole witchery stuff? A lot of people liked that, and some people were like, well, it's kind of like a zoo, so maybe do something that actually is like, like a zoo, because it's a zoo, you know what I mean? What do you think, sheep? Should we do something zooey? Should we do something spooky? Why not both? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we're going to be doing like a zoo with a twist. And I've got an awesome idea. I don't think we're going to finish it this episode, but I've laid down the foundations for what I actually want to do. So just a quick reminder as well to anyone who may not have heard this yet. I think both Dan and Justin have mentioned this in multiple times, but for when we are actually building structures like this community zoo on the server, myself, Dan and Justin are going to be using uh, creative mode, which is something Something that we agreed with at the beginning of the series because basically a lot of people do this. I think every single person who has a Crazy Craft series does this, but because the mod pack is so, so big and there's just so much stuff like block wise, it makes it so that we can build bigger and better and more exciting stuff without having to worry so much about going and collecting loads and loads of bits. So... Uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. So we are going to be using creative mode for it. But of course, the rule is we can't spawn in anything at all that is going to benefit us. So, for example, I'm not going to be adding witchery stuff into the game. It's just going to be things like wool, <laughs> for example, or like blocks. Um, but yeah, so this is the shade that I've done. So, you know what? Let's not go, go into creative right now. Let's actually do this the old fashioned way. And let's ride this broom because I want to show you what shape this structure is going to be. So are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. What do you think? Is this cool? So my idea, right? And this, this is a sh- Oh, my Illuminati pet. Can I confirm whilst on a broom? Oh, no. Why? Oh, what an amazing way to start the episode. 
Flying high we go. Goodbye, Mr. Lamp. <laughs> you didn't like that, did you? So yeah, this thing, right? This is a shape that I've wanted to use for a really, really long time. Now, this is something that I was going to be doing in the Pixamon series that we finished ages ago, but because the land wasn't flat enough, I never ever got around to doing the shape. But basically, my idea is, and this is something that I worked on with, well, with you guys in the comments, because you wanted to see something that was kind of like zooey. So what I was thinking is each one of these little pods is going to be like a different kind of dome, sort of like biome. And then one of them's going to be like jungle and one's going to be desert, one's going to be savanna, one's going to be swamp, one's going to be whatever. And then we're going to fill them with um, probably passive and neutral mobs. So... Basically, the whole idea is you're not going to be looking at something through glass like a cage. You are going to be able to go inside the cage and like walk around the mobs and stuff that we have inside it. So I'm sure we're going to be doing loads and loads of building, but I thought this was a good place to start. It is pretty ambitious because it's quite large. But of course, mentioned we are going to have a twist, which I won't show you just yet, but we're going because it's not done. But I promise you it's going to be awesome. So that was kind of the idea behind that. And I was also thinking... Um, that's basically, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. So this is a good way of kind of giving people, uh, the spooky side of things and the normal zoo side of things within the same build. You're going to have to see how the spooky side is going to work like later on, because I don't know if we're going to be able to do it this episode. Um, but yeah, so what I'm thinking about doing is these are, um... Uh, carpenter's block so I can pretty much change these into any block that I want just by right clicking on them uh, and they're pretty nifty and I can't change them back fantastic uh, but I thought this was a good way of laying down the structure and then we basically need to pick whatever colors we want and we really need to sort out the land and see what we're going to do so I'm thinking like large see-through domes all of which will be different colors probably although maybe like one side will be a different color and then I'm thinking the middle bit will do something pretty jazzy with that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a go and see what I can come up with and then I'll kind of like post you guys in sort of periodically. Should we actually see inside here though? Oh, oh, hang on. Let's do our, oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> There's some like proper eggs up here that aren't going in. Hang on. Ah, there we go. Three princes and they were just like sitting on top of one of the chests. Oh no. All right, let's put those back in there. What else are they? Fireflies? So this is going to be good because we're going to be able to use some of these spawn eggs. So things like ostrich and peacock and um, apple cow, dragonfly. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be one which is going to be full of hostile mobs. I think we'll do like a separate build for that, but it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, bear with. I'll see what I can do. This may take some time. Hmm, so this is the trial and error stage, and this is where I kind of like to test out some bits and pieces and see what I'm thinking. So, I really, really like the um, the marble blocks. I think they look really, really nice, and they're nice and straightforward. Um, but I've been trying the one out with this sort of pattern in it, and I'm not too sure if I like it just yet. I'm really not too kind of, hmm, I don't know. We've been trying out a few new things, so I like the kind of color gradients, and I wanted to kind of try and mimic roughly what was in this Easter egg, kind of like color-wise, so... I went with purple, pink, blue, and then a lighter pink, just to kind of give it a go. I'm not too sure if I like it just yet. I mean, it's early days. I'm probably going to change all of this, but I was sort of just messing around with stuff and seeing what the deal is, and I guess this is one of the options. Uh, the thing is, though, each one of the actual usual pods, so like all of the others around the sides, they're only going to be one different color, so they're going to be like um, clear glass, basically, kind of mainly and then maybe like a ring of Ooh, actually that gives me an idea doesn't really work i don't think it looks that good um so there must be another way we can do this something that we can ha huh. let me um i wonder what we could do because i'm thinking maybe instead of having like these here i want it to be as much glass as possible because i want you to be able to like see outside and I think that's quite important when you're doing something like this, especially if you're going to be using loads and loads of glass. Uh, unfortunately, the doorway has to be slightly off-center to allow me to get into each of the chambers, but um, that's the reason why that looks a little bit funky. But it's not too much of a big deal. See, it's sort of a slightly weird shape, so I don't want to, like... Hmm. And then it's the case of having the roof. You see, the thing is, like, this is, this is what you don't see, and this is why I kind of wanted to make this episode, because um, you don't normally see, like... 
how I build stuff, and it takes me really, really, like, ages to kind of plan it out and try and get it nice looking. So far, not too happy with this, but I'm going to stick with it for a bit longer, and hopefully I can come up with something that I like. Because right now, this is a bit rubbish. Yes. So, still working away here, I decided, because I was thinking about what kind of stuff we've done before, and remember the floor for the old, um... Equivalent exchange room. I really really like the way when the glass kind of goes all in one column There's no like blemishes or anything and it looks pretty cool and the whole point of this is I was thinking Yeah, you know, I want to make it super super colorful But the whole point is I want to actually be able to see what's inside the biome So the other ones are going to be different because they're kind of like supposed to be walked in but because this is like the entrance room I decided yeah let's kind of make use of those big long tall columns of glass but also jazz it up with a tiny bit of color on the top so I don't really know what I'm doing with this yet to be honest with you I'm not that happy with this so let's get rid of that um but in terms of the walls I think that looks pretty neat and tidy what do you think I quite like that. So there's a choice we can like stagger it so it could be like purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, or we can make it all one color or we can keep it like that. But I don't know. I think that looks really neat and tidy, actually. I kind of like that. Um, and it's just a case now of working out what we're going to do. So what I was thinking, I'm going to change this up a little bit. So we're going to walk in here. I was thinking like trying to make this look a bit like a butterfly. So you've got like the middle bit is belly and then there's little weird things out of his head and then you've got his wings, but we'll see, we'll see. So anyway, you walk in and uh, it's kind of like a main informational bit, so maybe you'll have some bits and pieces, but when you actually walk into here, this is going to be where all the doors are. So we're going to have, oh, hang on, let me get rid of that. We're going to have one going into here, two going into here, three going into here, four going into there, five going into here. So we're going to have five different biomes and there's going to be sort of like more stuff in the middle here as well, kind of like information and bits we want to make it like a proper zoo i think it's going to be fun but it's just a case of getting this design right i've been at this now for about an hour and a bit and i've not done anything <laughs> so uh, yeah bear with Whew. i'll see what i can do so coming along quite nicely and um i'm just doing these things purely just for a bit of fun i really hope anyone's like someone's gonna notice it but uh check this out so this is what we've done with the inside of the room so far i think it's coming along really nicely however if we check it from the top i've kind of tried to make like a dragonfly do you see what i mean it's got the eyes at the top and then it's got its wings and then it's got its like bit of the tail do you guys see that at all Dragonfly? No? Oh. <laughs> I've tried to make it look insecty because it is kind of like a zoo. It looks pretty awesome from the top, I'm not going to lie. It looks cool. But now I've got the case of what do I do with these gaps where the roof is. So I want it to be like nice and stained glass and light as possible on it. It looks pretty cool. I, I kind of like this so far, but... It's just a case of what I do with these side bits. That's what I'm struggling with right now. Um, hmm... Because, I mean, we could just use glass, but the one thing that I want to avoid is that horrible texture in here. So, the air blocks are okay, but the air blocks look like there's nothing there. And I don't want it to look like there's nothing there, I want it to look like there's something there, you know what I mean? So, hmm, this may be slightly tricky to do, but unless we, ooh, I'll tell you what we could do. Maybe half slabs. Right, you know what? I think that's going to be enough building for this episode. Um, I don't want the whole thing to like just be me building something. I want to kind of do something else because I think that's cool. So anyway, I'll carry on with this in the background, but I kind of wanted to show you roughly what I was thinking for it. So check out this. The carpenter's doors with the glass. They look amazing. Look how cool that looks. You can actually see through it as well. Of, of course, because it's glass. But uh, yeah, pretty nifty. So anyway, um, this is the inside of the first building. So it's very bright and colorful. I wanted to do something super, super cool and bright and yes um so this is going to be like the main type of area but in here these little things are where it's going to get interesting because each one of these is going to be themed with a different biome and it's going to be packed full of animals that we can go and walk and look at and all that stuff smoky the bear i see you hey dude how you doing <laughs> so uh, yeah i just thought i'd show you the very basics beginning thingamajigs of this to be honest it's probably going to change again by the next time you see it i'm kind of like always changing and bits and pieces i might change the colors i might change the the building materials whatever but anyway let's go and hmm what should we do oh i know what we can do so um remember a couple of episodes back we're actually on the hunt in some cloud dungeons for some inventory pets now we actually only found the common pets we didn't find any legendary ones but from the same place that i got this beautiful illuminati pet confirm 
Sword pedestal. Why does it keep giving me sword pedestals? I haven't got enough swords to put them in all the pedestals. This is madness. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the same place that we got the Illuminati pet, we actually got him from a Pac-Man. So I thought maybe we'll go and hunt down some Pac-Man. I've cleared loads and loads of space in my inventory and in my backpack as well. And let's see all of the cool items that he drops. Maybe he'll drop a legendary uh, inventory pet. That would be so cool. But before we do that, and I can't believe we haven't done this yet, we are yet to take a look and see what is inside... Justin's what is he doing here? <laughs> I see what's going on here. Lucky Blocks. Does he know we've got equivalent exchange? Because we are duping Lucky Blocks like they're going out of fashion. Look at this chest thing. Oh, right. I'll tell you why this is a bad idea. And I think it's happened before. One Pac-Man over here. And oh, these chests. These chests are not going to stand very long against Pac-Man. But, um, hey, Toothless, how you doing, buddy? You all right? Yes. But yeah, we haven't actually been inside here yet. Whoa. Look at all this duping. Oh, okay, okay. So, ooh, this is nice. This is very, like, ancient Greece, isn't it? I like that. That's cool. So he's duping loads and loads of lucky blocks. Oh, so this must be the radius. Pretty cool. And then this here. Oh, wow, look at that. You can duplicate duct tape? Really? Whoa, okay, so it's super cheap and equivalent exchange, so we don't need to dupe it, but, well, we do dupe it, but not this way, but I didn't realize you could dupe that, but yeah, we haven't actually been inside of here yet, which I find quite strange, so you know what, let's take flight on the magical broomstick, dun 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 okay, it's a bit hard to get in. <laughs> well, so apparently if I've got myself an owl familiar, it makes it easier to actually fly this thing, oh, okay, steady, 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 and land. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's break this. Nice. All right, this is the first time we've actually been inside here. So it seems like, is this going to be his house? See, this is what would confuse me. These are lights, by the way. These are pretty nifty. Look at those. I like these, actually. They're cool. Um, But yeah, I was kind of confused. Is this like storage or is this his actual base? But... It's pretty nifty. The thing is, once again, because Justin can fly whenever he wants, he hasn't put in any staircases. <laughs> oh, please put staircases in. This lucky, this, this enchanted broom is so hard to fly. Whoa, cool. Oh, look at this. It's so sweet. We got two Ronalds, two anvils, silverfish. Oh, an ocelot. Nice. Nice. So he's got his own little collection. Oh, look at the portal pets. Whoa, we haven't got a portal pet yet. Look at this. Inventory pet food, precious metals, precious gems. He's labeled everything. I love these signs. Big Bertha pieces, 14 out of 19. Ooh. I think we've got 18 out of 19. I'm not bragging or anything, but I think we've got 18 out of 19. You know what I mean, boys? Um... But that's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I've got a couple of backpacks. These signs actually give me an amazing idea because you can change the size of the font as well. These are going to be perfect for our zoo build. Hey, it's cool. The only problem is we can't get out. Oh, no, no, no. What's this in the middle? Rah! Password protect chest. Zero, 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 zero. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four. No. Damn it. Okay, never mind. So, how do we get out of here? Can we, can we, can we, oh god. As if life isn't hard enough as it is. Justin, what are you doing? <laughs> Put some staircases in, please. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Easy, easy, easy. And yeah, we're out. Woohoo. That was cool. Anyway, let's go and find some Pac-Man. Slay said Pac-Man. And then reap the sweet, sweet rewards. Oh, yes, 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 I found some, I found some, look, 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 yay, Pac-Man, whoo. <laughs> so the good news is we found some Pac-Man, finally. There's one up there, and I think there was one down here. The bad news is they've decided to spawn in this really annoying biome, and if you go on, like, this stuff, then it sets you on fire, so uh, it's okay, though. We've got two Pac-Man here, so we need to try and negotiate the lava, because obviously if the items fall into the lava, oh, my God, there's loads. One, two, three. Hey, this one's burning. Which is kind of weird. Can we see your health? Alright, hopefully you don't die before we have a chance to kill you. So let's get this guy first. Stark! No, I've shot a pig man. Why did I shoot the pig man? No, 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 no. Steady, steady, chill. Dudes, oh, look at your hat. Oh my god, I want your hat. I totally want your hat. Okay, okay, okay. So are we, are we chill? No, we're not chill. Come on. Dude, I'm trying to take out Pac-Man here. You're being, like, less than useless. Alright, okay. We'll try and negotiate this way. Don't, don't drop in the lava. Don't drop in the lava. Don't drop in the lava. Yes, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. Ow, 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 ow. Hellhounds. Oh, this is crazy. Alright, we cool? Okay, okay, so first one. Whoa, I think we've got, what, three inventory pets from one? 
Yeah! What did we get? What did we get? Mithril Egg is an Iron Golem pair. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, a side blade. We got a magic wand. Another shield pair. But yes, look. We got a nether portal pet. Hey, this is a new one. We don't have it. Wow, that is so cool. So the first one we've done, really, really good. Let's get this dude. Let's, let's see what he drops. Hang on, hang on. Let's get rid of him. Whoa! Oh, this guy's been a bit of a pain. <laughs> I've managed to shoot him and he's he's gone all the way up this rock and he's just perched himself on the top. So that's kind of annoying. Let's see if we can get up there. Oh man, everything's on fire. Oh, it's terrible. I hate this like nether biome. It's the worst. And it's annoying because it's always next to the really pretty green one. But okay, let's get up here. Oh man, as soon as I get up there, I know I'm just going to have to knock him back down again. Where are you, dude? Where are you, dude? Show your face! Yes! Oh, seven, seven, oh, how much has he got? 82 health? 82 health? So that first one was really good. Come on, come on, come on! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, we shot another pig, man. No! Are we, are we chill? I feel like half of his stuff may have burned. Oh no, we got cereal and a brochette. And a bowl of rice with veggies. <laughs> that was a really bad Pac-Man, huh? Well, there's one more over on the other side, so I guess we'll go and get him. I throw your veggies on the floor in disgust. I want some inventory pets. I want a legendary inv inv look, inventory pet. That would be amazing. All right, okay, let's go and get that other one. Oh. Hey, yo, Pac-Man. Woohoo. Okay, so this one has got 700 odd health, which is kind of a lot, but oh, this is amazing. This is how you want to kill Pac-Man. You see how he's like in next to a rock? It means that he just can't go anywhere whilst I'm shooting it. Oh, this is the Pac-Man dream right here. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. Let's get the final hit on him. And what's he drop? What's he drop? What's he drop? What's he drop? Stuff. I see something blue. I don't know what all this stuff is. Let's go and take a look. All right, all right, all right. So what the heck is that? I have no idea. All right, so we got a blade. Useless. A ninja chest. Demonic boots. Demonic shield. A gun chainsaw. <laughs> what? A sapphire. A paint roller. Some iced tea. I love iced tea. Oh, we got pasta. Wow. Oh, we should have like a dinner party with Dan and Justin. That would be amazing. Okay, so what? what is this? A, a gun chain? What? What is a gun chainsaw? Oh, God, things have not gone to plan. <laughs> Things have not gone to plan at all. James, run. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. We're just getting savaged by Pac-Man here. And come on, just get out of... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Ah, go, 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 go. I have no idea. He just he just won't leave me alone. Oh, there's bees as well. Are you kidding me? Get rid of him. Get rid of him. I think there's two. Or is there three? I have no idea what's happening. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yes. Woo. Oh, is the bees as well, like, causing chaos? Man! Oh, it was, a, it was a weeping angel as well. Get rid of you! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Na, 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 na. I think that was too pa- No. I didn't get- I didn't get the stuff. No, there was loads of stuff. Zeus's candy thunder. Ancient stuff. I got- No, 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 no. Where did they teleport me? No, no, there was like two- There was like two Pac-Man stuff there. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's close, actually. I think it's close. Yeah, it is. It is. It's just over here. All right. It's good. It's good. The stuff's still here. The stuff's still here. Woo. <laughs> I got worried then. I think... Oh, God. What is that? It's like a little baby um, weeping angel. What? <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but it's horrible. Let's leave it here. Um, so, yeah. We want to see what we've just collected. So we got a steel shield, an iron golem pet, which is good. Oh, enchanting table pet again. We got a cooked pork pizza. Lovely. And these ancient staffs, wooden guns. What is all this stuff? Did we get another enchanting table one? Are you kidding me? Man, we've got so many of the enchanting table ones. Um, okay, okay. So let's see. Wizard's chest. Another inch. Oh, man, we need to get some space. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I got rid of all the rubbish stuff. So, was there one or two or three Pac-Man then? Because it just, it was crazy. Just everything started happening all at once. Oh, I think we got the Angels tier as well. And I think that's probably our lot. So, another enchanting one, a bowl of rice. Oh, we didn't get anything new. Damn it. Oh, well, okay, never mind. So, the final thing that's left to do for today is grab ourselves our iron golem pet and our where is it where is it where is it our portal pet yeah so cool we've got the enchanting one we've got loads of enchantment pets now uh we've got the shield unfortunately we need another illuminati pet so then we can put one on the wall but there's no way that i'm just like not using the illuminati pet because it's so fun um but here we go so um 
Did you hear that? <laughs> I swear I heard uh, one of those move. Okay, okay, so let's go with the Iron Golem pet here. Okay, I've actually used the ability by accident. And then let's put the... I've gone to the nether. <laughs> um, how am I going to put this in a frame if when I right-click it, it teleports me? Ah. Well, it puts me straight back where I was. Oh, okay, so what if it's not fed? Yeah, there we go. I had to use it twice. Wow, the nether portal pet is amazing. And we've only got one of them, unfortunately. But wow, that's really cool. Um, So anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this episode. So thank you so, so much uh, for watching Crazy Craft with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Next episode, we'll be continuing on with our build for the, um, the zoo. I'm going to make it as awesome as I possibly can for you. And uh, yeah, before you go, guys, please remember to poke me in that like button. If we can hit that 6,000 like goal, that would be absolutely incredible. Thank you once again for your continued support and making the series amazing. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, Go for it, because we do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya!